In this video we're going to swap out a magnetron and a microwave oven. I don't recommend doing this because there's some very high voltage components in here that could actually kill you. These capacitors, if not properly discharged, can have enough power to kill you. The transformer has about 2,000 volts and that could kill you as well. We've checked the power diode that goes off the capacitor and it's good. We've tested the transformer, it's good. All the relays on the circuit board are good. The main fuse is good. With thick rubber gloves, we'll discharge the capacitor. And everything's discharged. We'll move the radiation channel and this side as well. We'll remove the temperature sensor and just pull it out of the way. Now we can remove the magnetron. When you're removing the magnetron, be real careful of the ceramic area here. You don't want to break it. It could have beryllium oxide, which is very dangerous. We'll unplug the magnetron. Now carefully remove the magnetron. Here's the one that doesn't work. And here's the one that came out of a working microwave. Now we'll put everything back together. We put the temperature sensor on, we put on the radiation tunnel, and the other one. And we'll hook up the magnetron. We'll put some water in the microwave, and we'll turn it on. Just heard the magnetron kick in. Now when we check the water, it is hot hot. You can feel it. With the thermal camera you can see the hot water in There's there. also heat on the transformer and on the magnetron. Inside the oven you can see that wall is warm as well. With everything turned off, that capacitor is live and deadly, even if it's unplugged. 